Sharifun Nuri is a long with others. I have the question again and again. Why should government, a reasonable government, allow a negotiation that will free all other Muslim guests and leave one Christian guy from the man? Why should you accede to such a negotiation? Why? For God's sake. And you are aware that before that time, we have been accusing your government of gradual stamination. So you still allow such a thing to happen? If Boko Haram is not out to exterminate Christians, why did Sekau come out? I mean, why did Sekau come out and say that he is going to make sure that Sharia is established from the north to the Atlantic Ocean? And that they are going to embark on a jihad that will sweep over the entire country. He said it. He was not a dream. He said it, and he has never recanted on it. He has repeated it. Now I thank the the chairman of SIPA who, who made the reference and he, who, who said that. They accuse us and say it's not only Christians that were killed. But we can speak out for ourselves. We know what we have experienced. And the man that the, those who are killing us, are they Christians? Are they from churches? When we are in party with our Muslim brother, what I've always challenged them to do is these people who are giving you bad name, why can't you address them? Look at it all over the globe now. Not only in Nigeria. Terrorism, bombing everywhere. Who are the ones behind it? Jihadists. Is that not tarnishing the image of Islam? Why can't Islamic leaders all over the world convene a conference over that and address it? And call these people to order to allow the entire world to rest? We will stop saying there is persecution of Christians in Nigeria when there is no more persecution. Mm. But as long as we see deniers, we we'll ask them, are they not the flyers? Why is it difficult for me? I want to be a nationalist and say, well, it's ask me. But I don't know how many Yoruba people are asked me. I don't know how many Igbos are asking. I don't know how many people from the South South are asking. I don't even know how many Hausa people are asking. Mm. Asking are predominantly the Fulanis. We have many Fulanis that are good, but the bad ones among them are causing me help. And they should be they should be talked to. Respectable Fulani men and women so call them to order, not defend them. Thank God that the MBC came out to say that uh, the radio was not for Fulani, but nomadic education. Mm -hmm. But who forced the first person to say that it was for Fulani? Who forced it? Even whether nomadic or whatever, was was I aware of it when they were doing it? He that tell them to come out and say that they are established. I think when people like Rebbe uh, Falana came out and said it, it was unconstitutional to establish radio, that was when they now thought that they should say that it was for nomadic education. You will begin to do things specifically for certain ethnic groups. Then you have made them a class to themselves. That's unfair treatment. And these are the things we are speaking about. Christians are saying that if we are going to be together as a nation, there must be fairness, there must be mutual respect, and there must be justice. Ah.